Hello everyone, this is Chaser here, and um, today, this is a urgent me message today, and yeah, today is Friday, <laughs> not Friday, today is Saturday, I uh, don't know, but um, this is basically, so basically, uh, this is an urgent message, there's gonna be a hurt. there could be a potential hurricane that could hit Florida. Right now, it does not look as significant as it used, to, well, so right now, it doesn't look significant as Franklin is suggested because Franklin has been forecasted to cat cat three soon. But you see this, so yeah, um, right there, um, there is your um, storm right there, right here. There is your um, new disturbance right here, disturbance one, that is now a depression. And as you see right now, it is going to see, so as you see, is going to move up move up eventually as you can see here on Sunday this one might stick around the area area this could be bad at the same time because it could cause flooding across these areas over here major flooding potentially given like they may stall over these areas not only that but this also could mean that the storm could intensify while it's over here which which could actually make it stronger than models are predicting this thing could be and so as we get to Sunday, Monday, as you can see, this thing's going to get big. Remember, Monday is going to continue on. I'm moving very slow. All right. Now, as it continues on, and back to Monday, we get at least around these, oh, uh, hold on. But yeah, um, basically, um, but yeah, basically, we get all these models right here. See you, I'm mentioning, right? Oh, my God. <laughs> my bad. Um, but yeah, basically, as you can see, it's going gonna, it's gonna to continue on. Monday, now Tuesday, this is where it gets interesting, so it's not as intense as Franklin, as you can see Franklin, Franklin over here has an impressive eye, this thing has no eye, however, it has been predicted to be a category 1, so it's going to, so it's going to continue on its path, eventually impacting the Florida, now, minos right here, around Wednesday, it could get a little tad bit stronger than it used to be, in fact, this this actually looks really concerning right here. It may cause major flooding. Look at that. It could cause major flooding. Look at all that. It could cause major flooding across all these areas. Potentially really severe. I mean really severe flooding. Potential storm surges from this hurricane potential. Now, however, it has been determined that it is going to be a tropical storm. And is, is a category one, just just at least west of Florida, then it, and then it continues on to the northeast, weakening to a tropical storm. However, I don't think the models are actually a little bit right here because it's suggesting that it's going to be a tad bit stronger as it reaches near Jenna over here, and, and as you can see, this tornado, this tornado right now. Doesn't really look as intense as it used to. However, as you can see, it does look really concerning right here. And look at all that rain right there. All that rain. Now let's go into the wind. As you can see, the storm is going to stay over there. However, once we get around Tuesday, that's where we're going to see some a little bit of intensification. Going to get bigger, as you can see, and then it's going to continue. And it look it, it kind of looks like it gets stronger right here, around the coast of Florida. Then it's going to continue on, and as you can see, it's going to remain really strong across. Then not really as a, a um, major hurricane, but it's going to continue. On. However, look at this, guys. Models are, models are suggesting, including this radar, Wendy is suggesting how this thing could turn around. And look at that. Look at, look how massive that giant storm is. Look how massive it is. In fact, it is predicted to look like it could turn around. However, this thing could be really strong as it continues on. In fact, it may hit this little tiny little island up here. Not showing significant hurricane uh, force winds. Only in category one, but I highly doubt that and there is a reason why. Now, as you can see right now, the reason I'm concerned about it is that look how hot this, the temperatures of the sea is. In fact, Franklin, which is predicted to be a category 4, 
uh, not four, three, sorry, my bad. Three over here is going to be in this highly good environment, but for over here, it looks stronger, which is why I'm concerned that it could be a tad bit stronger. However, I can tell you that there is some wind shear, so it could weaken this thing, which is why that it has been set to maybe be category one, but also be also because it could be it could be fast or either other things that yeah keep in mind that just be right now for your heavy rain precipitation rain rain I uh, so you get your rain accumulation for the next 24 hours as you can see it ramps up it continues on the next five days Florida is going to see a lot of rain mainly around the western side of Florida including Tampa Spring Hill Hosanna Sasses uh, Springs. I'm not sure. I'm not sure I was saying that right. But um, yeah. Uh, Cedar Key, Clearwater, <laughs> Clearwater, and Saint um Saint um Saint Petersburg. And yeah, this this is gonna put a lot of rain. Let's see, up to seven inches of rain. Outside of the Florida coast, well, house and just around here in the St. Petersburg's area, could see up to three inches of rain around me. If you believe on this, you may see up to very close to five inches or two inches. For here down here, or near, is really concerning. Um, up in um over here in this town that I'm going to. Here, this town, I'm, the town that I'm at right now, this town right here, the town that I'm right here, could see up to 3.2 inches of rain. And then over here, it will continue on, but okay, increasing up to 5 inches of rain. This is going to cause a lot of flooding, which is really concerning, because flooding is more dangerous. And the main game here for these hurricanes, the depressions, these um tropical storms... Is the flooding, the heavy rain. In fact, it could be up to six inches of rain all the way up in South um, South Carolina. And just to at least, at least, Southeast, Southeast Georgia. So, a lot of rain. This thing also may continue on to cause a lot of rain all the way up to the beaches over here. And it's going to cause a lot of rain. Now, during this 24 years severe weather, claimed during the fact that we're going to get a hurricane, I am expect I am expecting a potential tornado threat, although it, although it may be um, a, t a small threat across Florida, but it's going to be a threat because of the storm that could enter Florida as a hurricane status. As you see around Monday, nothing very much. Got some storms up there. However, around Tuesday, that's when it gets to creep in. More storms, and that's when you see that new storm coming in. Around Wednesday, that's when gave that when it's gonna about to impact, causing causing multiple storms. Some some storms could be severe. As it continues on, it's gonna move up from Florida, and then all the way up to Atlanta, Georgia, were um, not really visible much. However, it's still gonna be a severe weather threat. Now, the one thing that I want to talk about here is the fact that um, there has been some models by some of the people that um, this new storm that could Florida could be a Category 3. And so, by Category 3, that means that people who are down near Tallahassee, Tampa, or any of these major towns, like, um, around, basically, um, all of, um, um, if you're, like, up into the Florida Panhandle... If we're all the way up to at least um northwest Florida, or the all the basically all of you on the coast of Florida, on on the western side, you are mainly under the gun, under gun. Not now. That does not mean that the eastern side is under the gun as well. That means that Atlanta, Georgia, South Carolina, North North Carolina, Virginia. Another another states over here under the wrecks we're seeing a lot of rain. 
And so, as of now, this storm is not. So, so as of now, we're not really getting my thing, or we're getting the storm. As of now, there goes the um, storm that's now depression. It's not really um, showing them much on um, the. You know, but yeah, as of now, nothing that much anymore over in Tallahassee. Mostly clear. Um, pretty active for um, storms around here. But yeah, guys, and that's your um, forecast um, for your potential hurricane that could hit Florida. In fact, people say, including some of the storm, it could be a major hurricane. And so if you're living in Florida or the states above Florida, like um, Alabama, Georgia, South Carolina, even further up, be careful. Take action. And mainly around Florida, and um, mainly around Florida, I advise for you that if this real does go extremely major and potentially get really dangerous, I urge evacu- I urge a evacuation, evacuation to save lives. But also, but also, if you if you have like a neighbor, let them know about this because they may not know about it, or let them, let everyone know about this. Spread this video to people because this situation is serious. And in fact, these potential storms coming, this potential hurricane that could hit Florida could be a major one. I hope it is not major. Now, I will see you guys next time. Um, stay safe. Praying that um, Florida does not get impacted just like what Ann did. And I will see you guys next time.